Hey guys, Maxwell Alexander here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, if you have not already, please hit that subscribe button below. Uh, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. And if you guys are new to my channel, what is up? My name is Maxwell Alexander and you are watching Makeup by Maxwell. So in today's video, I am doing a tutorial on, of course, this look that I am wearing right now. Uh, please, please, please watch till the end of the video as I do have another announcement um, about the giveaway. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But before I start rambling on and going off the handle, let's get into this bronze natural kind of glowy look today. Welcome back to my channel. I am Maxwell Alexander and you are watching Makeup by Maxwell. It's wonderful to have you guys here. Thank you so much for uh, watching my videos. I really, really, really appreciate it. I have no idea much love is going out to all of you, so thank you. Mwah. So obviously you can tell by this title that we are going for a more natural kind of tutorial today. Uh, I wanted to do just basically my everyday glam for you guys. Uh, I know lots of you have been asking me to do it, so here we are. So to start off this look today, I'm going in with the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish eyelid primer. I absolutely love this primer. It makes my eyeshadow last all day and it really really helps the blendability you only need like a very small little tiny amount of this product to be able to do your eyes and that's also what i love about it is this little tube will last you forever now that we have primed our eyes for the eyeshadow we're going in with the smashbox full exposure palette and we are going to go in with the shade s Four, I think no M4 it doesn't actually have the shade names on the back all it has here if you guys can see that is like S or M S for shimmer and then matte for the matte color so we're going in with this cream color right here and we're just going to dip into there and that's gonna go all over our eye So I now have that cream color down and we're ready to move on to our transition shade. We're going to go back in with the uh, Smashbox Full Exposure Palette and we're going to go in with this kind of nice light brown shade down here at the bottom. We're just going to dip into that a little bit and then this is going right into our crease. We're also going to be going in with my uh, Beauty Staple Palette from NYX. And we're going to be going in with a red in the very, very bottom, just to really give it some depth and also some color. So now that we have my transition shade down and it's looking absolutely gorgeous, as you can tell I blended out those edges because of course you never want any harsh lines. So next I am going to go in with my Beauty Staple Palette. Now, I'm sure you guys saw this in my last tutorial, I went in with the green color in this. Now, there is a story behind this palette. I bought this when I was in Vancouver, I think it was, uh, not last Christmas, but I think it might have been the Christmas before? I don't quite remember, to be perfectly honest, but that's okay. Uh, so yeah, I went out and I bought this palette and it was the first big like multicolored palette I had ever bought. Of course, now I've got like a million different palettes, um, some from Smashbox, some from Maybelline, uh, Elizabeth Arden, but this was like the first professional palette that I had ever bought in my entire life. We are actually going to be going in with a shade in this palette. It's really, really nice, kind of deep red, 
burgundy kind of color. I'm gonna go right into uh, the lower part of our crease because we wanna create a little bit more definition. The eyes to look a little bit more sunken in so that when we put the light color on, it's really gonna make our eyes pop. Okay, so now that we have this red and brown base down. Today I'm going to go in with this really really nice brown shimmer right here. I absolutely love this. Now that we have this gorgeous bronzy shimmer on our lid, because we want to really bring the eyes up, I'm actually not going to be going in with a black liner today. I know. Shocker! Smashbox always on gel liner in the color bubbly. I love putting this in the waterline to really brighten up the eyes and make them look more open. Today I really want to do that because the shadows that we have are very um, strong, bold browns and uh, reddish tones. So I really want to brighten that up with a little bit of uh, nice champagne-y rosé colored uh, gel liner today. Okay, so now that we have that eyeliner in the waterline, today for mascara I'm going in with the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I have been absolutely loving this mascara the last little while. I think it is absolutely amazing. It coats all my lashes, makes them look big and beautiful. I would definitely recommend an anyone to go out and get this. It's new. So yeah, if you haven't tried it yet, definitely go and get it. For bottom lashes today, I'm going to go in with my Smashbox X Rated. I absolutely love this for the bottom lashes because it makes them look so long. I absolutely love that kind of like spider-like look coming out of the bottom of your eye. It just gives such a dramatic effect and it's really going to help open up these eyes and make them a little bit brighter with this gorgeous, gorgeous um, brown toned eyeshadow that we're doing today. Alright, so now that the eyes are complete, I've already done the base of my face, so I'm already contoured and bronzed. But because we're going of more of a bronzy kind of tan look today, I wanted to just, I didn't want to do um, any blush with this look today. I just wanted to add a little bit of gold highlight just to give us that really nice kind of tanned um, shimmery look at the very end of this. So I'm going to go in with my Sephora S79 contouring brush. I love using this brush. I found this at Sephora and I fell in love with it for highlighting. I fell in love with it for blush, but I also love to use it to highlight as well. I'm actually going to, probably gonna need to go and buy another one of these or maybe two or three or four. So I'm going in with the Casey Holmes uh, Smashbox Spotlight Palette in Gold. This is a limited edition highlighting palette. If you don't know who Casey Holmes is, go and check out her YouTube channel. It is amazing. So shout out to Casey. I absolutely love this palette. If you're watching my videos, girl, this is life. <laughs> like, I love this. So it comes with three shades. You've got a really nice, um, uh, kind of light, uh, light brown shade here. Then you've got your like super metallic gold and then you have an illuminating one. They are called Turn It On Gold, Crank It Up, and Blow A Fuse. So Blow A Fuse has like a lot more shimmer to it. So we're gonna stay with the, what is it? Crank It Up Gold. We're gonna go in with this color here and we're just gonna run that right over top of our cheekbones. And we're going to do a little bit down the nose as well. Now we're going to go back in with this palette again. And we're actually going to go in with this beautiful color right here. It is called Turn It On Gold. 
and um, we're actually going to use this just to highlight underneath the brow bone here to give us that little bit of height that I'm feeling like I'm missing today. And we're going to go in with a small little detail brush that I cut. I use this to um, clean up my brows afterwards because as you can tell that line is not as sharp as I would like it to be on either side. You know, I say going in all the time. I just realized that now. I think I realized it in the last video too, but I didn't really say anything about it which is kind of funny, but yeah, I say we're going in. Let's go in. We're going in right now. Yahoo! Brow Stylist uh, Frame and Set by L'Oreal to just clean up the uh, wings of these brows or the uh, tails of the brows here. And uh, I am in the shade 214 Warm Brunette. There we go, that looks way better. And I apologize about the light and stuff like that. It is a little bit of a cloudy day here in Strathmore today. So if it just all of a sudden got lighter in here, that's because the clouds moved out of the way. Cause they're like awesome like that, you know? Right near the end of my video. But you know, what you gonna do? So now that we have this brow nicely cleaned up and looking snatched for the gods, there is only one thing left to do, and that would be lipstick. Okay, so I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm kind of lipstick obsessed. Just a little bit. So in this box right here are all my lipsticks. I have so so much lipstick. If you guys want me to do like a lipstick swatch video of all my different lipsticks, let me know in the comments below. So today for lipstick, I'm going to be using the Elizabeth Arden lipstick in Pink Pucker. I got this with my Elizabeth Arden gift set uh, last Christmas. If you guys remember, she came out with this beautiful red bag. If you guys are Shoppers Drug Mart fans like I am, you'll remember that they had this gorgeous red bag on sale. Um, I don't remember how much it was. I think it was $75, if I'm not mistaken. And it came with a ton of makeup, like 400 and I think it was $450 worth of Elizabeth Arden products for like 75 bucks. Um, and one of the lipsticks in it was this pink pucker shade, which is the one, which is the lipstick that I'm going to be using today. It's just this really nice subtle pink nude shade, and I just want to keep it very, very natural and toned down for today, because... And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching me put together this gorgeous, gorgeous, bronzy, natural, tan kind of look today. I don't even know what to call it. I'm just gonna call it bronzy. Uh, if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down at the bottom as I am still giving away a ring from Up Brass Jewelry. If you guys would like to know more information about that, go and check out my Stampede vlog video. It is in there somewhere, so uh, go and check that out. I will leave that in the description box below. Uh, also, I will leave Up Brass Jewelry's um, website uh, to their Etsy page as well, down in the description box as well. If you guys have any suggestions of what kind of videos that you would like me to film, please also leave those in the comments below it would be greatly appreciated as you know I can never come up with too many good ideas so if you guys can throw some awesome ideas my way I would absolutely love that and until I see you guys next time as always I love you all so much peace love and hugs bye guys